Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean First Departure for the PlayStation Portable. Um, today we gotta go rescue Millie and the others. Um, jail isn't uh, too hard to find but there are new monsters around here and they're pretty tough but they give good experience so you might want to stock up on uh, experience cards before you head out. It's the moment of truth. Alright, these guys are... Oh wow, targeting doesn't... Can't do targeting without using an item. SCK and Gunner level 2. Alright, let's get going. I don't want to be a drag nice. on everyone. All right, here's the jail where they're being kept. Uh, looks like we're in. Thanks in no small part to the distraction Avina's crew is providing for us. The soldiers are probably all gathered by the front entrance. Let's move. We gotta find Millie and the others. You got it. Well, I would have liked to show you uh, more of the different monsters out there on the world. I didn't encounter that many. Activate those two blue switches and it opens the door. Don't let up. Alright, here we have the Aspatel Mark II, which is a spider thing. It has 10,300 HP, uh, no weaknesses or strengths, and the EOK, which has 2,500 and some odd HP. And no strengths, no weaknesses. Well, I gotta heal up after that. I as well use a Blackberry too. The reason I'm not using my experience cards is because I've already done this uh, off camera and have a save file up ahead, so with all grinding and everything done. Anyways. Go down here, head right, go through this door, keep going right, keep going right. Alright, activate these. Alright, activate these two red switches. It opens this door. You can get more treasure. Just some mithril. Anyways, go through here. Keep going left. Go down here. You can talk to these prisoners, but they don't say anything. Anyways, activate this green switch. Get this treasure. Um, head left through here. More treasure and the last switch. All right, now we gotta go back up and Monic, over here, Millie. How's it look, Ilya? Can we get it open? This won't be a problem. You came to help us, didn't you? Everyone all right? They had their hands all over me, those bastards. Kinky. Ow! They tied me all up! Even more kinky. All right. Now let's get out of here while the guards are still distracted. Even though, uh, my, uh... Hey, glad you're all safe. We really appreciate your help. If it wasn't for your diversion, our rescue mission would have been a lot more complicated. Oh, not at all. If anything, I should be the one thanking you. There's no way any of us could take down Xie, no matter how hard we try. So really, you're our only hope. Is it true that optical weaponry doesn't work on Regorse? Yes. Xie is the culmination of everything that Fargate's technology has to offer. We've made several assassination attempts, but all of them were complete failures. 
Well, why did they build someone so dangerous in the first place? Fargate is a desolate planet. We have very little water and natural resources to work with. We've been conducting research into genetic engineering and spatial theory for a long time now. It's what we needed to do for survival, and to someday return home to Earth. Home to Earth? Yes. Long, long ago, our ancestors were sent from Earth to Fargate, after a meteor strike opened up a spatial vortex in our homeland. Just like the old race was transported to Roke. Unlike Roke, however, Fargate's environment is harsh and inhospitable to human settlement. Frustrated in their efforts, our scientists finally decided to turn toward what was then considered forbidden research. They launched a project to create a race of superhumans, people uniquely adapted to life on our planet. They conducted genetic engineering on humans? Yes, and the result of that project is the superhumans, including G.A. Their combined muscular, nervous, and brain systems make them uniquely adapted to coping with the severities of our environment. However, the core they were built from is still human, the genes that define all of us. Their life expectancy may outlast ours, but they are not immortal. You could say that's their sole weakness. Hmm. I suppose a direct strike is the only chance we have of killing Revorce. Most of the army is off in outer space participating in the Earth invasion. As leader, however, Jie would never leave the planet voluntarily. With most of his guard away, sneaking into Revorce Tower where he resides is a distinct possibility. But we can't just sit here, not when the army's already on the move. Revorce Tower is located in Vadgoop, our capital. You'll find it north of here. There's a great big cliff in the way, though, so reaching it on foot is impossible. So how will we get there? North of Vadgoop, there's an old, closed-off laboratory. A biolab, to be exact. There should be an underground corridor below the lab that connects directly to Revorce Tower. It's pretty old construction, but hopefully it's still in service. Well, it beats storming the place head-on, I guess. All right, let's head to the biolab. All right, uh, now, uh, as I was saying, it's kind of weird, uh, that uh, the Fargate soldiers took three of my female characters even though most of my party is female characters why is someone like Revorce running this place anyway wasn't he just an experimental test subject with an environment as harsh as the one we live in we can't afford to waste even the tiniest bit of our resources that's why we need a government that works as efficiently as humanly possible G.A. and the Superhumans have the strength to survive on this land. Their regenerative powers make them near immortal, and their intelligence is second to none. So you decided to let them run your government, figuring they'd make fewer mistakes than humans. People had their doubts about the Superhumans' government at first, naturally. But after their lives improved under their regime, they began to rethink things a little. And then it all started going haywire? They may be superhuman, but they're not machines. They worked as a team to help cover each other's weak points. But one day, G.A. had all the others killed off, and declared himself the head of a dictatorship. Guess that's what they get after basing their genes off the human race. You will not find many people who approve of G.A.'s actions here on Fargate. This may be the best chance we'll ever get to free ourselves of G.A.'s rule for good. Alright, so we're heading off to the, well, the second to last dungeon. Uh, well, it's second to last dungeon, but it's the last dungeon before the end of the game. There is an after game dungeon. Anyways, you see those two blinking red lights all the way up to the top? Those are, uh, the city and, uh, the bio lab we're heading for. As you can see, we've got a private action uh, notice here we can do a private action but uh, I think I'm pretty much done for this episode yeah anyways um, make sure you stock up on experience cards keep them stocked up 
That guy sells both conductor batons, the camera, and the film. So just replicate experience cards and use them in random battles as you go to level up. And when you run out, you can come back here using the bunny whistle or replicate more if you have this, this stuff in your inventory. But basically, you want to level up as much as you can because we're near the end of the game. Um, I've got a, on my save uh, that I saved ahead, I've already got the characters leveled up a bit and full experience cards loaded out on. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next time.